the professions. If you, so they were certainly used to butchering animals and, and skinning them and knew where the uh, the limbs were attached and the muscles were attached. So imagine standing against a guy like that who is a fencer who has a sword in his hands. He's a butcher by profession. He's looking at your body and he sees the first cut there, the arm will fall off. The first cut there or there. He knows how the body is built up. He knows what happens when they cut in different places. This is the kind of guy you're fencing. And this is a guy who practices fencing regularly by being hit on the head with a steel sword. This is what the first shot comes about. You win a first shot in the tournament by causing the other guy to bleed higher on the body than you are bleeding. So they are used to actually, actually being struck on the head with a sword. Not every week, but regularly. So some people talk about these guys. You can cut someone in the head and they will bleed and they will be concerned about bleeding. They are what used to bleeding from the head. It's a it happens regularly. Uh, so this is the kind of guy. Yeah. And, uh, so this is the kind of guy you would be facing if you fight one of these fights. Those guys are used to using some bleeding feet, and they know how to cut the May I ask you something? How did you get to the whole fencing stuff from your Kimai? How did it start? Well, Hima at all. Hima was actually a facility. My son used to go to. I brought my sons to Renaissance fairs. And I felt ashamed about the plastic armor. So I actually made my, my five year old a male, steel and male. How long ago was that? Only five years ago. Five yeah. six, six years ago. And one, my club actually had shows there. They showed how to practice historical fancy. So Do you practiced already, sorry. Yeah. Before? I did it before. So I saw them fencing there and I had that in the back of my head. And I've been sitting still working with computers for far too long, for 20 years. And I said I had to do something. So I started shooting bows because I had experience in rifle shooting. And they were all, mostly all the old guys using combine bows. So it didn't really feel like archery. Um, and then I came to think of these guys that practice with swords. I said, and I figured, well, that might be fun to fight. Because we all have these ideas about sword fencing and so on. And I just got stuck with this stuff. My club practices ringing, Gothenburg Historical Fencing School. Practices ringing and the um, 1832 to 27, the Derby is And I did that for, for a couple of years. But I also like the, the staff because it's, it's a cool weapon. It's a simple, it's just a stick. And then you're an autodidact or Sorry? autodidact? Autodidact. You learned it yourself or you had a teacher? Well, well yeah, autodidact, yeah. Well, I, I tried to find, find a good source to study for the staff from the spear. And I looked at Fiore, but Fiore is not very much in armor. Armizal, I think. Um, so it's very much for armor fencing. It's kind of slow, moving like this, the switching hands. And yeah, yeah, sure. It's very slow. And I looked at Paul Hector Meyer, like Harry Winter and, and Oli taught. Um, but there are too many too many possible interpretations of the text. And so I wasn't satisfied with that source either. And then I discovered Meyer. And he is very clear about how to do this. So I've been practicing, practicing that for almost five years, studying an autodidact, like you said. And when did you do it? is in my group. And we have a group of people that have been practicing this for several years now. And when did you do the tattoo? 